Hello everyone and welcome back to another Universe Sandbox 2 video. So today we're actually doing a request which I um, actually asked people to say which was um, stuff to do with the largest exoplanet ever discovered and and the request I got was to replace Jupiter with the largest exoplanet. So this is probably going to get crazy since it has a lot more mass than Jupiter does. But anyways, quick update on the channel. We are currently at 249 subs so we're still growing quite nicely so yeah, we're, we're doing good for our um, end goal of 300 before the end of the month. So it's currently the 12th, and there's obviously 30 days. So that's 24 more days we have to get 300 subs. So yeah, if you like the video or just like um, the channel in general, make sure you hit the subscribe button. and Let's try and hit our goal, because yeah, that would make me happy, that's for sure. But do you really care? Probably not, but please. Um, yeah. Anyway, enough of me um, r ranting on about rubbish. Um, let's go and um, start this. So... It's, it, the largest planet is called HD 105. So there is, yeah, this one here. Here's my custom one, but I haven't finished like doing that yet. So it's this planet right here, and this thing is massive. Like here is Jupiter, and here's this thing. This thing is probably so close to becoming a star, it's crazy. But yeah, we're going to be um, replacing Jupiter with it. So this is going to get crazy. So let's pause the simulation. Let's put it exactly in. And now we want to give it exactly the same stats as Jupiter. So actually, we can move it over here, actually. So we want to hit auto orbit so it locks onto the sun. And now in the motion settings, wait, we just need to hit pl or click play for one second. So it like, what's the word? It gets attracted to the sun. So there we go, hit play. Now we can alter these settings. And now let's give it exactly the same settings as what Jupiter has here. So, okay, so first of all, in fact, yeah, I'll, I'll do this um, while you guys are, or I'll just take a cut here so you guys don't have to watch me input that, these values so yeah um see you in one sec okay guys i'm now back i've inputted all the values so if we quickly go on the motion settings here and we look about the orbital elements so if you want to compare it to jupiter apart from the anomaly here which is which is different because if i changed it it would move where it is in its orbit we're just gonna leave it here for now so every other one of these options is the same so it's in now in the orbit of jupiter so we can now delete jupiter and um, we can have a little fun with this giant planet and see what mayhem it will cause. It probably will cause something. Let's hit play and let's start the craziness. So let's speed this up and let's see what this is going to have in store for us. And it seems we are heating up because it's probably a brown dwarf, but typically it's still a planet. And we are already in a binary orbit with the sun, it looks like, since this thing is quite high in mass. It's 17.5 Jupiters according to what the game gives it. So that's pretty cool. So... Okay, so the system seems okay right now, but the orbit of Sedna is getting stretched out a lot here, so yeah, that's not too good. And Planet 9 as well. What about um what about Eris or Pluto maybe? Yeah, these outer body orbits are changing here, so we're gonna see. Yeah, the whole solar system is wobbling now because of this extra large planet. Now, I wanna see if this gets too close to Saturn right about here, is it gonna take Saturn? Oh no, it doesn't. Okay. Interesting. But is it going to cause any stuff with Earth? I think the inner solar system probably is okay here. Keep an eye on it. Yeah, oh, Earth's a little hotter than usual, actually. Okay, that's good to know. So Earth seems to be heating up. Oh, wow. Okay. So let's keep an eye. All right, let's speed it up a lot more. And we're going to see what kind of mayhem will cause. So the solar system is completely... Yeah, not in a very good shape right now. But this is not good, is it? All right. Let's put it on trail. Let's see where everything's going. So it's pulling the solar system along through space as well. So... That's good to know. Wow, even Planet 9 is sitting there again. A lot of movement here. Alright, cool. So let's speed this up even more. We're going to see if any uh, mayhem goes down here. So, I don't know if much is going to happen here, honestly. So it seems to be perfect on a perfectly good orbit with the sun, the binary orbit here. So, maybe this will be a very boring video, but I'll still probably upload it. Because, yeah, we need to know what would happen if the largest planet did replace Jupiter, right? Like, of course we need to know. <laughs> Alright, anyways. Let's um, speed this up again. And... Yeah, so the orbits are slightly changing. They're definitely not staying the same. But overall, these orbits are not really changing, I have to say. So let's um, tweak it a bit. And um, let's make this thing's orbit decrease in size. So let's do this. It comes inwards a bit. Because eventually this probably would happen. It probably would eventually get closer to the sun as they're attracting each other. So unless they're in a perfectly perfect binary orbit, they... Um, probably will change at some point how close they are away from each other so let's move it inwards a bit and let's see what kind of um, trouble we can cause on the inner solar system here so Ceres has already been ruined as we can see it's now been thrown out to almost the distance of Saturn now so that's not very good now when it comes in near I'm gonna say Vesta there if they ever get to the same point at the same time 
right about there the orbit does change slightly so let's speed this up again let's keep an eye out yeah so overall it doesn't look like pulling it in the exact spot jupiter is in will cause much mayhem but it probably would change eventually so yeah it's got closer to the sun than what it was before so yeah we're gonna have a little um we're gonna alter this again so let's uh, make it a little smaller again and there we go so vesta's orbits now changed slightly okay now let's speed this up again oh did something get thrown out there no it doesn't look like it okay oh whoa oh vesta's completely gone okay first object of the day vesta has now been eliminated out of the solar system completely so that's not too good but let's um speed up again and also decrease its um, orbit even more. Let's pull it completely in the inner solar system now. And let's pull it in the orbit of Mars. So there we go. Alright, now this is going to cause mayhem. This will. So let's speed it up. And the whole inner solar system is about to get ruined here. So, oh, Sedna's orbit's going crazy as well. Look at that. Okay. Yes, yeah, so we've already lost Mars has gone, it looks like. Oh no, Mars's orbit has changed. But the whole inner solar system is ruined now. <laughs> it just stole Earth from the sun there as well. So Earth is completely just messed up now. So Mercury is pretty much staying the same as per usual in these videos. But Mars is going crazy right now. Ceres and all these guys. So yeah, that's not good. And we're going to completely make this so the planet will hit the sun eventually. So let's decrease it even more. So it's still going, but it is getting closer. And we're going to see, we're going to put it in the orbit of Mercury now. So we're going to put it about there. Oh, and Mercury's orbit's now changed, so Mercury's going to get very, very hot when it gets to the close point of the sun here. As you can see, it just heated up a lot there, so... Yeah, that's not too good. And it looks like we may have just lost Venus. I think Venus just hit the largest planet here, so... That's not good. And remember, this is the largest exoplanet, not planet, because obviously it's not in our solar system. So, yeah, that's that. I think this is about 300-ish light-years away as well. If you want to research it, be my guest. <laughs> there you go, but... Yeah, I just searched it in the game, so this is how large the game says it is. So, yeah, we're just going to leave it at that for now. So, let's do this. Okay, and apparently it should have 20 masses of Jupiter instead of 17, so that could cause a difference as well. But, wow, Mercury and Earth are close to the sun now. How did Earth get there? Wow, okay. So, let's um decrease it even more, in, or decrease its orbit even more now. So, let's pull it inwards again, and let's pull it closer to the Mercury, and we're going to see what kind of craziness this causes. So... Let's um, pull it in. It's almost there, and it's going in the orbit right about now. Okay, so if we go to the North Pole, or what's left of the North Pole of Earth, so around somewhere here, and we look in the sky, we should see the sun, and then this other giant object over there. So, yeah, this is probably a brown dwarf, but for some reason it's still classed as a planet when I searched it up, if we have a quick peek again. So, HD 100. It does say it's a planet, so I'm just going to leave it at that for now. Oh, here's its regular star as well. That's a star it orbits. Seems pretty big since we can't even see it here. But Yeah, that's not too good. So this is how big its parent star is here. So it's a massive blue giant, or super giant it looks like. So yeah, so it's a large star of a giant planet around it. Yeah, and to my knowledge, this is the largest planet, n or largest exoplanet known right now as well. We found it in 2015, so that's pretty good. And it took out the, pre the previous um, record holder for the largest planet, which was Hat P32b, which was this. So the largest planet turned from this to this in one discovery, which is crazy. Yeah, because this was the previous largest before 2015. So, yeah, yeah it's pretty interesting stuff if you didn't know that. But, yeah, this planet is massive. And if we compare it to the sun as well, the actual sun itself, like, this thing is very, very big. And here it is compared to Saturn, and obviously Jupiter's a little bigger than Saturn, so you can figure out how big it is. Uh, it's pretty, pretty crazy stuff, so, yeah, that's that. Looks like the outer planets haven't really changed too much in orbits, but Ceres has got a very strange orbit now, so that's not good. And Mars as well, look at Mars, okay, very far away. So let's zoom in now, and let's hit, hit play again, so let's see this. Let's speed up a little more, alright, cool. So Mercury's orbit's definitely going to change at some point, I think. When they get close to each other, it will do stuff to Mercury. So we just they just need to be in the same place at the same time, pretty much. We have to wait for that chance there. Yeah, Mercury's orbit changed right there. Now let's decrease it even more, because we need to keep it going. So, yeah, I'm not 100% sure if its orbit would decrease or get bigger, like increase or decrease, but we're going to go with decreasing, because I think it, its orbit would eventually decay as well. I, I don't know much about orbits. But, yeah, I th I, to my knowledge, I think there was. So if anyone's a complete pro about orbits, would this 
stay in the same position as it started in or would its orbit eventually decay and get bigger or smaller because apparently if the earth orbits the black dwarf sun which is um what's going to be left of the sun in a few trillion years if the earth still orbits that its orbit will just decay and it will crash into what's left of the sun too so i think that's a fact as well i don't know for sure though because obviously we'll never know because yeah earth will be very long gone probably by then and will definitely be long gone so yeah we'll never actually know for sure but hey if anyone's got any good ideas and they know what they're talking about <laughs> yeah be my guest to leave a comment down below and criticize what i'm saying because yeah we do want the right stuff we don't want me saying false stuff but yeah, to my knowledge, this is pretty accurate what I'm saying here, so... Yeah. Or I could just be an idiot. No, we, we never know. <laughs> I could just be an idiot, but... Yeah. That's kind of sucks, so yeah. Right, anything going to happen now? Doesn't look like it, actually. So we're going to make it actually plumage into the sun now. Wow, okay, that's too fast. Wow, look at this. So, very, very close to Mercury there. Wow, okay. So, let's decrease it even more. And until we're eventually going to get... Will it get torn up by the sun? I'm pretty sure, sure it will. So let's um, make it closer. And it is, yeah, it's been shredded up by the sun here. So it's eventually just going to go straight in. So there we go, it's gone. So that craziness is all over. But now the sun has this ring, this ring of debris, which is very, very close to it. So there we go. That's pretty crazy stuff. And now Earth and Mercury's orbits are just completely messed up right now. All right, so... Okay, Earth's cooling down a bit. So I think this is what's left of the solar system now by adding the largest planet. And so, yeah, if you guys have any other ideas what I should do with the largest exoplanet, I should, why do I keep saying planet? Exoplanet. So if you've got any ideas what I should do with it, like maybe we could like pull it as the moon of Earth or something. Like we could do something really crazy with it. Maybe we could pull it as every planet in the solar system. So, yeah, any ideas you guys have or any ideas for another video in general, please leave a comment down below. So I love reading comments. They're, they're pretty cool. I love to see what you guys have to say. I like your input. Like... So I know some YouTube channels, they never read the comments, but yeah, I read every comment that pretty much comes up. So yeah, if you want your, if you want me to um, do your idea, high chance of your idea actually happening if I like the idea. And I usually do most, or like most ideas. But I did get quite a cool one the other day, but it's actually, sadly, it's impossible because there was one about galaxies. But sadly, the game, it you can't really do anything with galaxies. Like, um, let's leave this simulation now since we've done anything. Wait, why is it stuck? Okay, the game appears to be stuck. I don't know why that is. It's all like bugging out. <laughs> no idea why it's doing that. Maybe it's because of the stuff I did. I have no idea. But if we put a galaxy in, for instance, let's just say this one here. So it's massive in size. Let's just quickly um, place it. Let's put it over there. And let's um, do it right here. There's not... I can't really... I, I can change these options, but it doesn't actually do anything. And now I can't even change that. This is really bugging me out. Oh, my God. Like... There's nothing I can really do, like, there's nothing in the motion, or well, there's stuff in the motion, but I can't really change the, like, what elements it's made of very well either, so, yeah, velocity's the same, basic, like, we can't change the colour of the galaxy, like, there's nothing, and we can't change, well, it looks like either, or any of that cool stuff, so, yeah, that's that, can't really, and like, there's no input to change the radius of it either, so, yeah, I can't do anything with galaxies right now, so sorry to the person who, um, said about the galaxies, so, yeah, that's that. So, um, I think that will, um, end off, uh, uh, why is the colour grid here? This game is so bugged out right now, oh my god. Yeah, but that's the end of the, um, episode. So hopefully you guys all enjoyed. Uh, make sure you leave a like down below, comment obviously if you have no idea, and yeah, join us on our goal to get 300 subs in the next 24 days before the end of the month, because that would be much appreciated. Um, and hopefully we can go up to 400 before the end of next month, and hopefully we can continually get these goals until we get 1,000 subs, because if we get 1,000 subs, I'll be so happy. Right? You don't even know, it does mean quite a lot, like, I do put quite a lot of time to make some of these sometimes, so yeah. But anyways, enough of me uh, ranting about that. Let's um, end the episode off, so like I said, make sure you enjoy, or hopefully hope, Blah, blah, blah. I just mucked up there. So, really hope you guys enjoyed. Leave a like, subscribe if you're new, all that good stuff. And yeah, leave a comment if you have another idea. But yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye. And have a good day.